Right, so this is my uh, actual Amiga A1200 uh, accelerated. Um, this is the first time I've tried running this, so I'm kind of cacking it. I'm just going to actually copy the file uh, to the RAM disk, I think, before running it. This is off uh, coming off the GoTech floppy drive emulator. But I think we'll run it out of RAM just for my own sanity. Okay, let's give this a go. <gasps> Woo, it runs. Holy shit. It is working. The speed is a bit variable on <laughs> speed's a bit variable on hardware, but that frame rate is kicking it. Come on. Yes. So I can sort of I can stop. I can Oh, I can move left and right with my keys. There we go. It's a little bit different to in in Win Win UAE. This is a bit sticky, actually. I've probably messed up. Oh, probably messed up something with the keyboard handling interrupts. Oh God! Get, go, go back. Hold down. Hold down a key. Why have you done that? Why? What? I don't know what I've done. I think I might have crashed it. I don't know what I don't know how I've crashed that. Let's try let's try running that again. I don't think I can Oh I can get out. I pressed the left mouse button. Okay. Right, it's just I don't know what's going on there. Alright, let's just try this again. Come on, I'm so pleased it ran. Uh oh no, it's it's running, it's running. Is it running? Oh I taken out the Amiga. <laughs> oh, it doesn't look happy. Oh boy. Uh, I think we I think we're gonna go 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 for a reboot maybe. I think it's reboot I think it's rebooting itself. I don't know what it's doing. I think it's very unhappy. I'm just gonna right. I've just done a control uh amigo amiga. Let's <laughs> just try this one more time. Maybe I'll copy it onto the um maybe I'll copy this onto the hard disk this time. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't expecting that just to run first time because I've only been I've only been developing this on uh UAE. Um and this is the first time I've actually tried it out on hardware and I was just really fearful it wasn't gonna work. So this this is my me gets running a um terrible fire TF1230 accelerator, uh which is awesome. Really nice bit of kit. Um okay, let's just uh let's just copy this somewhere sensible. Well, what are we doing? You can tell I know how to use uh, Mega OS really, really well. Um, show all files. Try that. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, let's put that on there now. Let's copy that over. It's going to take a little while. I might, I might try not using the keyboard <laughs> so much this time. That was a disaster. That was a disaster. I don't know why the keys are so sticky. So, oh, Right, okay, let's, let's let's do this. I've got it on the hard disk now. It's gonna be awesome. Yes, go. All right, I'm not gonna, literally not gonna press anything this time. I'm just gonna leave it to run and see what happens, see if it crashes. Uh, so this is like the first level, um, obviously no scenery. Not a lot actually, in fact, and it's offset because I'm not kind of correcting the position of the road based on the car, which is controlled by the curse keys. Okay, so that's really slow there. There's some things that are happening, like where there's just huge, huge slowdowns. So I have to look into that. But some of it's just really fast, like, wow. That is a super, super wild frame rate. There's a road split coming up there. Dare I press a key? No, no. Okay, we're on to the next level. There's no sky fading at the moment. I did not implement sky fading. I'm gonna take a risk. I'm gonna try scrolling left and see see what happens because I'm so far over to the right now, this is just crazy. It's not really looking like anything. Okay, can I stop? Can I do anything? Okay, I need to work on the keyboard handling, but but you can see, you can see it's running. It's very exciting. 